Just got my UPS package text message. So I'm gonna step over here. Ah, oh, there it is, right there. Should be the new model kit of the day. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome, check that out. That's cool. Sweet. Wow, that's big. Check that out. Wow. Cool. Got a couple cool model car kits in today. And I usually don't do a shout out, and I promise I'm not getting paid for this yet. But I started buying off the internet instead of going to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is some overpriced. Same thing you can get off eBay, Amazon, anywhere else. But there's a couple guys out there that got their own personal website. And one of them, the Sales Shack. Insert link right there. I got these two right there off of them this week. Came in super fast. I, I think I ordered them last Wednesday, maybe even a Thursday. And they came in today, Monday. Uh, even, even through the holidays and all that, the shipping was pretty damn fast. Uh, real happy with them. They were in the plastic and all that. The plastic's off them right now. But they were in the plastic, of course. Some of the, the items he sells are not in plastic. Uh, and they will actually say in the item, before you buy them, that we're not in plastic. Parts might be missing or, or what, whatever that my case might be. But I got this Model T forward. It's a 25 model. It's three in one kits is what it's what it says. It says over 140 parts. It's a pretty awesome little kit. I've actually looked through it. Uh, it's got this the coupe body. Uh, it's got the old school tea bucket body with the turtle deck on the back of it. And then you can also build a true to God tea bucket. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a slam down hot rod tea bucket the way I would want mine to be. Uh, here lately I've been building these cars that uh, like the the 70s model blazer and then the 61 blazer I cut down. Both of them are real vehicles in real life. I usually don't do that. That's probably the only two that I've ever built that are in the process maybe of getting built, but that are actual tributes or clones of the real thing. I don't usually do that. So I'm going to build this tea bucket the way I want a tea bucket. I don't have one yet, but if I had a tea bucket, this would be it. Now, the Dodd L700, it also comes with a 44 coupe. Now, as you can see on the box, you can actually build that as a rust bucket or uh, or fully restored. It comes with all the chrome. It's a pretty, pretty cool little kit. Uh, the big rig and the flatbed trailer, I'm very impressed with. I've already had this box opened up. I had to open it up as soon as I got here. Uh, it, it's a pretty awesome little kit. It's It's got quite a bit of parts in it. Uh, I'm going to do an un unboxing of this one and the, the 25T before I actually start working on it. Uh, I've opened up the plastic, stuff like that, but I haven't actually started breaking any of the, of the actual plastics. So everything's pretty original in these boxes. Uh, this is a Lindbergh kit. I, I, li I think I like Lindbergh model cars. Uh, I'm not real sure yet. This will be the third or the fourth one. Uh, like my 37 Ford Custom that I'm building, my full-on Custom, and then even the 38 Ford uh, panel wagon. Them both are Lindberghs. Lindberghs are super detailed. Uh, this Dodge pickup, uh, it's a cab over, of course, and it's got the single rear dually axle. But uh, it, it's a pretty cool little big rig for, for especially as, as, as old as it is. Uh, but it's got the doors open up and the, the cab tilts forward and all that. And I'm, I'll go I'll go into detail of that later, exactly what I'm going to do with that kit. It's going it's to be pretty drastic. But uh, man, that has, it's just a cool kit. You can it's actually size enough to where you could put a model car on that trailer. But like I said, I got those from the sales shack. Uh, insert that link again. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm highly happy with them. Uh, I'll be buying more kits from them. I, I, I think I really had like 15 bucks in this and like 10 in this one. I mean, that's, uh, you put them together and that's like the, the, the price of a Hobby Lobby model kit. And it, these are, uh, this isn't like the original, original one. I mean, it, it, I, it wasn't not listed as an original one. It, it's a, it's a repop that AMT brought back out. But, uh, 
they're both in plastic. Like, like I said, if, if you get one and you got to read the description because because some of them uh, they've been pulled out and like maybe maybe you're buying this one and it's half off or whatever and it ain't got the forward inch. You know he'll tell you if it ain't got the forward inch. But awesome, awesome kids, man. You you should check him out. I'll put that link up one more time. Salesshack.com. I'm I'm very very happy with all that. Right now the blazer build is definitely sitting on the chopping block, but as soon as I get the unboxing videos done of the 25 Model T kit and uh, the big Dodge L700 and the 40 coupe Lindbergh model car kit the blazer probably gonna go just over here in the back uh, and I'm gonna work on that big rig the big rig project is gonna be really cool I've already ordered the body I'm not telling anybody what the body is until the day I unbox it I'm gonna do a little unboxing with it because I told everybody it's gonna be a Jimmy Flintstone body so you already know that but uh, you don't know which one of these four I've picked but I'm already, I'm, I am going to get started on the Lindbergh big rig and build the flatbed trailer and all that. Uh, the body, there's no reason to use the Dodge body at all because I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to build the frame first. I'm going to get all this blazer stuff kind of pushed over to the side and push my, uh, my wagon to the side and my Chevy truck to the side a little bit and then build this big rig. And I think I'm going to build my tea bucket. So uh, we'll see what else I buy this week and, then, and who knows, I might end up... Uh, ditching all these and pushing them to the side and the big rig to the side and building another one. But stay tuned. Make sure you like, dislike it if you don't like it. Hey, whatever. Tell me what you think. That's the Canon G20 camera. I got it from Josh instead of using my GoPro and the Rode mic. So definitely playing with all those. He's almost done with hunting so maybe some of the footage is going to be some of this camera. But like and share and all that. Dislike if you don't like it. Smash it. Subscribe. Whatever. I appreciate it, guys. Thank y'all.